Hello everyone, we are here by cat number 8 today on Friday, what we have on uh, 15 of, um, of January. Outside in Germany it is cold, we have zero degrees and uh, at the last weekend we have a, um, a snow thunderstorm. What we want to make today is what everyone needs for his uh, rover and for his construction because you see here now, this is a hand drawing. And uh, you need to make hand drawings to uh, imagine what you want to do, what you want to design in the future. And uh, from the hand drawing, you start to make your design. And after that, you need to have, <laughs> can you see that? Yeah, you need to have a correct drawing um, so that engineers and companies can read this uh, to produce your part. Now, prototyping you make by yourself, you make the cat drawing and you print it and buy on your 3D printer. But when you want to produce it in metal, you cannot do this by your 3D printer. You must go into a company milling and laser cutting and everything like that. They need a drawing and this is what we are learning today. And um, I welcome to you um, our uh, teacher, our in uh, nice teacher. This is Valeria from Mexico. Then Hello. we have Firine here, uh, our, our CAD student, what is advanced now in online CAD units. And we have Cosma and Tara, who are here with us in the International Space Education Institute. And they are Hello. doing also a good job by um, together with Valeria. Everyone who wants to join us, we can do this by um, our um, Zoom meeting. Uh, don't forget um, the, the passcode 2AB7 Big U and Little W. Okay, this is the, the code and um, let us doing and let's start now with our next unit number eight. Okay, so as Rob said, uh, today we are going to um, yeah, thank you, Rob. Um, uh, today we are going to see um, how to make drawings. Okay, but first we need to see Ferenc Hamburg from last lesson. Okay, uh, I'll share my screen now. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so I designed three different parts for swept cut, boundary, cut and lofted cut. And this is the first made with swept cut. It consists of two sketches. The first one is this one, the profile. Mm -hmm. And the second one is this one, the way the profile follows, I would okay. say. So we yeah, the part. path, you can say the path. <laughs> path, okay. The second one is lofted cut. So we have here one sketch and then another sketch. And if we use this feature, then we get this twisted part. Okay, cool. Uh, did you notice that it's not symmetric on one side and on the other side? Yeah, because like they are also not that symmetric. Okay, so. okay. yeah, great. And the last one is quite similar to the other one as mm -hmm. the features are also quite similar. So I have a one, uh, again, a more, um, yeah, not easy, like what is it? Um, complex, sorry, yeah, I forgot complex. the name, a more complex <laughs> one, and then it transformates into just a circle. Okay, yeah, great. Good job, Firin. Do you have any questions or any comments about your homework? Mm -hmm. No, not so far, thank you. Okay. So now we're going to start with today's lesson. You should sh see my screen now. Okay. So, okay. So today's lesson is drawings. And what is a drawing? Well, a drawing is a representation of our 3D model in 2D, uh, in a 2D page or a PDF, for example. Okay. So. We need this to share information about our model with other people, so they can also use it, make it, recreate it, um, or, for example, see if they, um, if they that part suits uh, you or suits some person in specific. For example, in on the internet, you can find uh, several drawings for um, pieces that are sold. For example, in Amazon, if you want 
some special axis, then you will get the drawing of the measures of the axis. So uh, people that want to buy that um, know if that measures are optimum for them or not. Okay, so this is the, just the introduction. <laughs> okay, so the tools that we are going to check today is uh, how to convert your part into a 2D drawing, uh, how to choose uh, sheet formats and edit them, how to insert different model views, do annotations, um, write all the data that you need, and which are the standard rules, this is very important, and how to edit it and save it. Okay, so for starting, we have the parts of a drawing, okay? So as you can see, this is uh, like a screenshot of our PDF. So it's totally in 2D. This is not, not a 3D model, but it's based in a 3D model, which is this one, right? This plane. Okay, so first we have some um, different views. The first one and the most important one, the main one, is this one, which is the front view. It means you just see the model from the front, right? Um, this is the top view, you see it from above, and this is the right view, you see it from one side. Okay, so this would be a pretty normal drawing, very standard drawing. And you also have here a box or um, a chart with all the information about this drawing. Okay, so here you can find some notes, you can find which material it will be used, you can find the tolerances, you can find who drew this drawing or which is the title, how many pages, which is the scale, okay? So, okay. So we are talking about a little bit about ASME Y14.5. This is a standard rule for creating drawings. Um, I would say uh, there are other standards, but this is the most common one. ASME is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers and they created this PDF. I will show it to you now. Um, well, it's, you can see it's a pretty long document with all the standards so you can make uh, drawings in the same way. Imagine if everybody in the world make drawings in different ways, that would be a total mess. So they standardized how to make drawings, how to make dimensions, how everything. Okay, so we are going to just uh, check the basics in these lessons, but it's very important that you know that it is based on uh, this standard and it is uh, used internationally. Okay, so the basics of this uh, standard is First of all, you need to annotate all the necessary information of the part. Uh, if you have any part, you need to write all the dimensions that you used and all the information that anybody must have, okay? So you can write notes, you can um, put different views, you can write uh, all the dimensions that you need. There shouldn't be any missing information, okay? Second one is do not overdefine. This means do not put things twice. Um, we will talk about uh, this later, okay? But we only put the, uh, we put all the necessary information, but we do not put more information that we need, okay? Like repeated information, okay? And the third rule is make sure it's, it's easy to understand. Okay, so yeah, we talk about, um, yeah, okay. We talk about how it's important to make it clear to understand. Here, for example, you have a drawing which with uh, lots of annotations, dimensions, radius, and uh, notes here, and it is not really easy to understand, right? Probably if you try to make this part in SOLIDWORKS, you will struggle a lot because there are too many uh, things in this um, sheet. So this is something that you want to avoid. You want to make your drawing as clear as possible. Even if your part is really complex, you want to make the drawing as clear as possible for everybody to read. Okay, and this is another example of mistakes. Uh, they get too many views of the drawing on the same page and uh, you are not limited to using one page. You can put as many pages as you need. So it's maybe better to give it every everything a little bit more space and make it also clearer. Okay, so this is an example of what is good to, to do. For example, um, dimensions to make it like little steps and stagger them 
it means that they are not um, one over the other, like this one. Okay, like for example, this is good. This is, uh, they are stacked here. But for example, in this part, you can see they are crossed between this one, it's crossed with this one, and it's crossed with this one, and it's crossed with everything. All lines are crossed with each other. So this is a what you don't want to do, okay? Uh, also, what you want to do is put space between everything so you can read everything. And for example, do not forget anything. For example, the radius, we can forget sometimes to put annotations. Okay, so now we're going to see how we can do everything of this in SOLIDWORKS. You can see my SOLIDWORKS, right? Okay, so here we have a house. Uh, you may remember that we made this house uh, on the first lesson, I think. So um, to make a drawing, it's really easy. You can click new and you have two options. You can click new and click on drawing or you have a direct option of clicking in new and in uh, this little arrow for extending options, you can click make drawing from part or assembly, okay? So we are right now in this part, so I will click on make drawing from part of assembly. And now we'll get this um, window of SolidWorks. You can see now I have my model in one window and other window uh, with um, this, um, this drawing. Okay, so now I get this little menu asking me which uh, standard do I want to use, okay? So these are just uh, sheet pages, um, the size of the page. You can see it here. It has a width, it has a height, and they are a little bit different <laughs> one from each other, okay? But right now we are going to use this one, okay? So it's just the size. There's not really big deal about this. Okay, so I'll click okay. Take some minutes, okay. So you can see the menu is um, similar. We have um, some tabs here. We have also a menu here on the left with a three. And we also have some options here. Okay. So first I'm going to put my model um, on my drawing. Okay, so this is an empty sheet. And um, I'll put it here. Okay, so this is the front view, but you can see um, we cannot really get a lot of information from my house from this view. Okay, so this is a mistake that you want to avoid right now. And this is because um, I made my drawing here. Do not um, caring about which was the front plane, which, which, uh, which was the top plane. You can see the top plane is instead the front plane and which was the right plane. Okay, so the right plane is now the left plane. So um, this is all a mess and you want to avoid this because when you do the drawing, you will get these kind of mistakes. Okay, so this is the front view, but this front view is not really useful as a main view of my house, okay? So as this is something I want to avoid, I made a corrected version of my house Okay, I'm going to delete this drawing and show you the corrected version of my house. So it's uh, it's important that you you think of um, making your drawing in the correct uh, form always. Okay, so this is my corrected house. You can see it's. It's the same, well, I made a window, a different window here, but now the front plane is the front plane. <laughs> the top plane is the top and the right plane is the right plane. Okay, so now we are going to create a drawing from this one, okay? Okay, I will select this one now. Okay, so I have my views here and I will take my front, which is right now, here, okay? And in a normal, in a pretty standard um, drawing, I will only select the right view and also the top view. You can see I, I'm not selecting them from here, I'm just dragging my mouse and I will get different views. Okay, 
So I'll just click here again to make the top, to make the, this is the isometric view and you have the isometric view in different sections, for example, here, this is a bottom view, another isometric view, the left view, and another isometric view. Okay, so we're finished for now with this, okay. So, um, but we took about of uh, how we don't need to put many things that we don't need, right? Um, what I want to say is uh, we don't need all of these pictures if they do not give us any new information, okay? We just need the basics, okay? So I'm now I'm going to delete some views that I don't need. For example, this one, I don't need it. So I will delete it. I just click delete and yes. This one, I also don't need it. Yes, this one, I also don't need it. Okay, yeah. And this one, I also don't need it. Okay. So um, um, to move them, I just click on the, right on the line, and then I move it, okay? So they are linked with each other. You can move them in some way, but you cannot track them mm, too much because this is always the right view, the left view, the isometric view. This is also a little bit more free. Okay, so now I uh, need to start uh, putting some annotations. So you can see my menu here on the top. I have drawing, I have annotation, I have sketch, so this is uh, the ones that we are going to be using, okay? So, um, uh, in drawing, you'll find uh, different views for your model that you can add, okay? So we will talk about uh, this a little bit later, but uh, for example, um, I can add more views than I need, okay? Not only the, the front, the left, the right, I, I will also add some other more views, okay? In annotation, you will find everything to put notes all over your drawing, okay? And on sketch, you can really um, create lines, circles, everything that you need if you need to write something else in your drawing. Okay, so now I'm going to annotation. Okay, you can see here I, I got smart dimension and also in sketch, I got smart dimension, but the difference is that annotation will only check the dimensions that you already used. Okay, so I'll use annotation and click on smart dimension. Okay, I'll get closer to this, which is my main view, and I will start creating um, lines. Okay, so I'll click on this line. Okay, you see it's pretty similar to normal smart dimension. And I will click where I want to see it. Okay, now well, I want to have the main, the main, um, height of my house, okay. Okay, and now you start putting everything, all the information that you need, okay. So, um, and you will use other dimensions or the other views if needed, okay. So for example, I need to know where this door is located. So I can touch this line, this line, put the dimension here. Also use sign and this line, okay. So, um, here you can see that I um, got a, an 18.87 and probably if I open it more, yeah, it's 18.8670733 millimeters. Okay, so be careful with this one. This is also a mistake that I made when I was ma uh, making my main um, model because I did not put any dimension to this um, door so now when I am trying to do my drawing, I'll get this. This is it's not a mistake, but this is something you want to avoid because how can anybody manufacture um, things with uh, this precision of millimeters? Okay, normally we use closed numbers. So, okay, we will leave it uh, only with, uh, Okay, like 18.9 by now. But and this is a mistake that you want to avoid from um, your model, okay? This is not uh, something that you can correct on your drawing. This is something that you must correct on your drawing, on, on your model, sorry. Okay, 
So this is here, smart dimension. Okay. Okay, I want this one also. Okay, for example, we know we need to know where is this window located. So I will select the center and I will select this corner as reference. Okay, so you can see they are uh, stagging in this um, zone. So I will also need to make some corrections to make it a little bit easy to read. Also, you want to try to avoid to put dimensions inside of your drawing, inside of the house. It's better to put them always um, outside when possible. Sometimes it's not possible, but try to do it. Okay. So this one. Keep getting 90 degrees. Okay, never mind. I also want to annotate the radius of this window. Okay. And let's try again. Okay, no problem. I will fix this right now. Okay, so I will click on, now I need a point here that I will select, so I will go to sketch and I will just put my point here so I can make a correct smart dimension annotation. Okay, should work now. Let's see, point. Okay, we're not getting it. Okay, so you can see that I am still missing some uh, dimensions here, but I will try to put them in other views, okay? So um, you must also know that um, some dimensions are not needed sometimes when they are obvious, when they are um, clear. For example, this line and this line form a 90 degree angle that I am not annotating because it's clear. If it's not clear, for example, if my line would be 91 degrees from this line and it will confuse with 90 degrees, then I will have to annotate it, okay? So, for example, um, um, this uh, roof, we could think it's 45 degrees, but it is not. It is 41 comma something, okay? You can see it here. Yeah, 41 comma 35. So I will annotate it so it is clear for everybody that they, they, they should not use 45 degrees here. Okay, so if I click it here, I think it doesn't look very nice to use this line. As reference, I would prefer to use a line here. So I will delete this dimension and I will go to sketch and use the center line also to make a little line here and make it as reference. Okay, so it's a horizontal line. Yeah, now I'll go to annotation again, smart dimension. Click. And yeah, I like this one. Okay. Okay. So, um, for example, if I go to this view, um, you can see this window is in the middle of this face of, of the house. So if I do not mark where my window is, it would be clear enough um, to everybody to know that it's in the middle because it's, it's kind of obvious. But if I think that it is not obvious, it's no problem. You can always go to sketch, go to center line and mark it. For example, I will mark it here that it's in the center and here again that it's in the center okay so normally these center lines also indicate a symmetry 
for example, I, I cannot put a center line here in the middle of my house because one side and the other side is not symmetric. But if they were symmetric, I can use center lines to indicate a little bit of symmetry. Okay, so I, now here I'm indicating that this side and this side are the same, that this side and this side are the same, and that my uh, window is in the middle of the face. Okay, so I'll keep uh, putting smart dimensions. Okay, so um, for example, um, let's say I want to see the dimension from here to here. Okay, so I marked it, it's 22. But um, I need to see that this dimension is not over defining with the other dimensions that I already use. Okay, so um, for example, yeah. I will put another dimension here. Okay, so I'll make it a little bit clearer to read. Okay, so I have one dimension here. This is 48. I have one dimension here. This is 70. So, um, and I have another one dimension here. It's 22, right? But the problem is um, right now, when I have these two dimensions, it is already enough information, okay? Because when you know this is this uh, complete height, it's 70, and this other height, it's 48, then this 22 is not really useful for anybody because this is um, just the difference between this one and this one. So this is not useful. Uh, this is over-defining my, my drawing. If um, something is not really clear, I, I would leave it. But right now it's over defining my drawing. So I'll just click on it and delete it. Okay. Okay, so let's go to this side. Okay, we also have some tools to not using uh, the same dimension over and over again. For example, these uh, circles are the same a radius or diameter. So I'll click on one of them. This is radius 10. And here I have some text that I can use. Okay, so um, I could write something that I needed here. But right now I'm going to add. Um, okay, so we have uh, 10 minutes left. Instead of, uh, well, remember that if um, this shuts down, we just reconnect to the session. Okay, so I'll write x3, which means this radius is going to repeat three times. Okay, so um, the reader will know that this radius is the same and the same. I also need to indicate which is the height of this. Okay, h. Okay, I still need to indicate which is this thing. So you can see it's um, like writing dimensions manually. Okay, so, okay, mm. for example, this is clear to me that this is this uh, distance, this distance and this distance is the same. It's just divided into three. This 60 divided into three is 20, 20, 20. But if it's not clear, I would add maybe some dimension here. Okay, so, Let's see if we have any missing information. For example, we don't uh, know this uh, window and this door. We can see it in this isometric view that they are a little bit deep, a little bit deep, but we don't know how much. Okay, so that's when we use some other drawing uh, views. They are auxiliary views to make it a little bit clear, to make it um, to annotate what you cannot do with just simple views as this one. Okay, so projected view is what we have already seen. This is front, top, left, right, symmetric. Okay, so now we're going to see what is section view. Okay, so when you use section view, you uh, want to cut something in the middle to see what it looks on the inside. Okay, so you can see I have a line here that I can move. Okay. So I'll cut it, for example, here. Yeah, okay, I confirm. And then 
I got two things. I got one mark that it's saying A and A, and there are two lines pointing here. And I got also this drawing that I, now I need to put somewhere, okay? So I'll put it here. And it gets an automatic layers saying section AA. Okay, so this, uh, this means that you can cut in this line and this is what you will see if you cut it here, okay? So you will get, uh, you can have several of these ones, the AA, the BB, the CC, um, et cetera, okay? But um, so when you see this drawing, you must also look where you have the reference, okay? So right now I will delete it. Yeah, okay. And I will use it here, but I want to, I want to see, um, how deep is the circle and how deep is the house, okay? So I'll use a section view, but I have also some other options to make it, um, to make it, um, how do you say? Um, so I cut here and then I cut here and then I do not have to do two section views, okay? So I will start here. Let's see? Okay, I'm going to use it now. Okay, so I want to start here, but I do not have um, any reference of the circle in this line. So I'll go to sketch and go to center line. So I'll draw my line here. Click on here and I'll sketch a point here. So I also here. Okay, so I'll go to section view right now. Now we'll get, click on this one. This is a single offset. It means, okay, I want this cut to go here and then I want this cut to go here. Okay, and then I confirm. And you can see now I have my section view with my two cuts, okay? So if I cut here, only here, I will only get my window. If I only cut here, I will only get my house, but uh, my door, sorry. But uh, right now I get, the window and the house, and but you always see that this section BB, it's cutting from here, then it's traveling here, and then it's ending here. Okay, now so change a little bit this one so it's easy to read. Okay, and then I can annotate which is the dip, which is the dip of this. Okay, so it's clear enough for me that they are the same the same um, a dip, but if there's any doubt, I also layer this one or they have different um, different uh, depths. Okay, so I think I'm finished. Oh yeah, I, I still missing this one. It's not really easy to label. Okay, let's see what we can do again. Okay, we still have five minutes, I think. Okay, as I cannot label here, I will create a center line. Okay, now I'll try to use this one. And this line, yeah, it's better. Okay, so you can see here, you will always get um, lines that are overlaid between each other. If you put it here, they are crossing. If you put it here, they are crossing, but you must try in the better way that you can that they do not cross. Okay. Okay. So, I think I have it all, but I will show you also some things that you can do here. You have section view, you have a uh, detail view. This is also really useful. When you want to see, for example, um, I want to show you, uh, like imagine you have a complex piece that, well, a piece that it's complex in one corner. For example, let's imagine we have a lot of details here in this part, okay? So I'll click on detail view 
and then I will make a circle around the area that I want to highlight. Okay, so now I get my detail view C and I will place it here. So this is detail C, this is my um, detail view literally, it is um, my expanded um, view from this part that I'm selecting here, okay? So I can label also here what I need to do. Okay, right now I will delete it, but you know, also know that it's useful. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any questions for in until now? Uh, thank you. Up to now, everything was was clear. Okay. So, do you want to try it uh, on your computer? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Ralph, for the introduction. So. Uh, now we need uh, Firin to share her screen so we can start making a drawing with her. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So first of all, we need to create a new drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're using this format, right? Yes. If it's not enough, then we will correct it later. <laughs> then we can place the front view in the middle of the paper. Mm -hmm. And some views right here, maybe? Yeah, OK. I don't think that we need this one. OK. I don't so, think that you. I think it's enough to have just those two, right? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. And uh, maybe you can uh, add the isometric view. Ah, sure. Normally, yeah, normally we use it on that side, exactly. Maybe. No, okay, normally we use it like in the right top, unless, unless you prefer another one, but normally this is the standard. Yeah. Okay. So this is... Isometric view is mostly to people to imagine how your part looks like. Mm -hmm. Mostly when it's a little bit a complex part, maybe just imagining it uh, um, with the top view, with the front view, with the right view, it's not enough. So isometric view always helps to see, oh, so this is a complete part, how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And now we can add some dimensions. Mm -hmm. I think we need many dimensions because it's not symmetric or anything. It's just. Okay. Yeah. You need to put as many as, as you need, literally. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like as we can see, it's not a good number, I would say. So we should have changed that in the part. Okay. No problem right now, but. Um... Later. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Okay. Maybe the radius. Okay. Okay, they're the same, but I think it's not obvious, so I would put them two times into the okay. drawing. I agree. Or could we just say four times this radius? Yes. Yeah, okay, so maybe we can delete them. Okay. And say this one four times? Uh, where it says R dim, you must click. Yeah, exactly, here, but um, uh, do not delete that, that it's okay. okay. Uh, click, yeah, exactly, and um, before the R, you can type X four and one space. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have it four times, right? Yeah, exactly. And then we need some dimensions for this part. Okay, so this is a spline. So what mm -hmm. would you were trying to do is uh, click on points in the spline and then put dimensions uh, 
in the y axis and in the x axis which um yeah which okay. is the location of these points mm -hmm. Uh, again. This is also overdefined because you already have the uh, dimension of the radius. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. So we need from this point to ah, change your direction. <laughs> okay. You can click escape. You can click escape to abort the mission. Okay. Yeah, and escape again because so, you already have selected one point. No. Okay. What I would do, um, yeah, okay, that's okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can also, uh, I think you can um, add the radius of the arc uh, this one? Yeah, exactly that one. I okay. think this is this is not a spline, this is a radius, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what? <laughs> yeah, this is what I tell you. Sometimes it's, mm, um, it's not really maybe. easy to locate them without lines that are interfering all the drawing. You can mm -hmm. also try to put it in the middle. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit better there. It's yeah. a little bit of intuition and see what, what looks better. But you can always change yeah. it, so it's good. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to find this radius, so we don't need this distance. The or radius, the, distance. Um, the radius is the same that you eighteen yeah. comma eighty nine. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to define this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then. How could you define this one? It's just a plan. Okay, okay. Plan. so you will need to go to sketch tab. Uh huh. And click on point. Yeah, and now you can uh, put some points as references. For example, yeah, th that point is important. And maybe um, one or two more points. Yeah, maybe for example in the middle. Yeah, and the other one. Yeah, exactly. So now you will um, click on on uh, smart dimension. Not that one because that is off sketch. Oh, yeah. The other one. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. And, and you will start to... annotating the x axis and the mm -hmm. y axis. Uh, so you show what is the location of that point. So, uh, wait, okay. I think we should define this one first. And it looks yeah. better. There are two things that you can do. You can define all the points using the same reference, or you can define all the points using the previous reference. For example, oh, okay. uh, yeah, in, in the on the first point, you can add... Um, well, yeah, it's, it's okay. But you can also use as reference the point that ends the 79,57. So you will get dimensions like uh, order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. The, the same plan. height or? Yeah, normally we use the same height. If you see it's too, um, if there are a lot of numbers in the same space, then you can change a little bit the height. Yeah, exactly. Maybe like this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's do it again. Yeah, click OK right now. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how more or less you would define a spline. Mm -hmm. I mean, splines also, they're not really um, so good for 
uh, sketches because they are free. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, this is a good uh, way to define it. Okay. Oh, I think we do need another um, view, like a cat that we see the sketch which defines the profile. Okay. Can you do it? Uh, where was it? Where? Okay, this is in Seifnook. Uh, you can correct my pronunciation. <laughs> it's right. You're a good okay. pronunciation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. So you will get, yeah, exactly, section view. Okay. Uh, you can also define it in horizontal. If you go to your menu on your left, the second option, it's horizontal line. Yeah, exactly. Like this should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now you have to... Mm. No, it's not really what I want. I know, but click on it. Okay, now we are going to use a detail view. Uh, let's say okay first. This one? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is detail view, right? Oh, no, this, uh, the other one is detail. Detail. <laughs> uh, <Sicht>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we'll, you will draw a circle around the area that you want to put. Okay, good. Exactly, this is what you need. Mm -hmm. So it's like not like a front view from this part. So um, it's easy to define, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, um, I understand. Um, I think it's a little bit displaced. <laughs> but then I need to know where you put your sketch on the first place. And then you need uh, to cut exactly there. Here. Okay, then cut there. Make your okay. cut there. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, you can um, select where you want to start and where you want to end. If you don't want it all along, mm -hmm. you can, uh, just, mm -hmm. maybe we can just have a quick look. I thought it would be here, but it again was a bit displaced. Okay. So yes. One. Yeah, yes. It's, it was right there. Okay. No, the, yeah, it's important to know that you can always return to to your model to see if anything is happening or. You can also edit your model and then go back to your drawing and um, update the changes. So you don't have to do your drawing all again if your model has changed. Hmm. Okay, you can okay. click one and two. You, you have some options like where you have okay or you no, know, you have some options that are in the middle of your screen. And you have one that says one point and point two. So yeah, exactly the first one. So you can select the point two. Yeah, exactly there. Okay. 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 It's again. Oh no. Is okay. is that what you need? Hmm. <laughs> it's strange. Not really, but. Maybe we can use it to define it, like the okay. dimension should be right. Yeah, anyway. I think it looks exactly like the other one, like the one that we have in the B detail. Maybe we can put it a bit higher. Yeah. Oops. Okay. And now we can define them. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to place them right here to put like the dimension? Uh, yeah, or I will, I will really. try to put it um, down. You can put it a little bit more down, but okay. yeah, try to not put it on the side or... <laughs> oh, the dimensions are quite big now. Maybe we can no, make would... detailed view again to get it bigger. Okay, uh, I think you can change the size of this detail view. So you can abort uh, intelligent dimension, smart dimension. You 
can yeah okay so click on your um yeah exactly click there so you get a menu on the left with the options no try to click on your um detail view or this section view click again two times or click on the line okay without uh you have the smart dimension activated so oh, okay. Try clicking again. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got your menu on the left. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have some options. Uh, you should look for one that says scale. I don't know how to say it in German, but... Um, yeah, okay, mm. where it says mass staff. Mass staff, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, you select the second options, I think. Okay, so now it's one to five, you can change it. So it will get bigger, maybe. Okay, it's okay. too big. <laughs> now, now because you are too close, because, but, but if you see all your drawing, yeah. it's not too big. You see it's small. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So we can put it. And you can also see that in your annotation where it says D, D, mm -hmm. now you have one uh, one to one scale. So mm -hmm. you know that this is, uh, scale is different to everything else. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we can add some dimensions. Yeah. So this one, oops, wrong side. And we have it three times. The same dimension? Yeah. Okay. It's this, this, and this. Okay. Okay. But you should also add which is the angle between them because you could have the same distance yeah. of lines, but we don't know which is the angle. Oh, um, this could be quite difficult right now to read. Yeah, but uh, this is uh, what happens when you get to sketch um, complex sketches, which uh -huh. will be quite often. So just put it wherever you think it's best, literally. No, not like this. Like this could be fine, right? Okay, yeah. And this radius is missing. Um, let's drop this. Okay, we need to this is also applying. Uh, just leave it for now, so we can keep moving on the lesson. But you mm -hmm. understand now how you, how you can annotate splines. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can delete those. Okay. Yeah. Perfect idea. We don't need them anymore. Okay. Good. So, Farin, I want you to notice now that on the borders of your page, you have some numbers and some letters. Can you get closer so we can see it? Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, these numbers are used as agreed for references. Okay, so if you add, if you need to add a very important note, for example, um, 
uh, right now that we are having troubles with um, annotating the angle of 120. We mm -hmm. can do not annotate them. And then in another part of my page, make a note. Okay, so um, this angle is 120. Yes? Okay. So, but we need to make a little bit of reference of where this angle is located. So we can use numbers and letters to say, okay, yeah. so this angle is located in 5E. E. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, for reference. Or if you are talking with someone else about a detail or something, you can always use this grid. But it's, yeah, for reference. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you can get closer to your um, chart that it's on the bottom right corner yeah you have a lot of information there okay so here it's the part when you can say uh, which is this part how many parts are there if it's an assembly if it's a part if it's made of steel if it's made of aluminum if it's okay and you can also add um who uh, made this uh drawing mm -hmm. who checked it in which uh date so we can add a lot of information now, but if you try to click it or try to edit something, yeah, exactly, it's not possible, right? It's like fixed. Okay, so mm -hmm. to edit it, you will go to your menu on your left and click on uh, where it says black one. Yeah, exactly, that one. And you will click, right click, and you will, Modify it. I think it's the second one. Oh, I think I think it's the size more. Oh, okay. Then it okay, says like think, the format. Okay, something like modify the information or something like this. Mm. Oh, let me check in my SolidWorks, Maybe which is the this option. One. No. <laughs> okay, give me a second. And I will tell you which is this one. This one? No. It's edit sheet format. Uh, uh, yeah, it's oh, okay. the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So now you can edit it. It's a little bit not friendly as if you were doing it in Excel or PowerPoint or Word or something. It's a little bit like... Mm -hmm. Not friendly, but you, you can add information. For example, you can add the name of your part. Okay, you have this, um, this problem is very common. In your mouse, you have a um, filter in pink color. You can deactivate that with uh, clicking F6 on your keyboard. Okay, I clicked it. No, I think it's activated still. F5, try. No, okay, mm -hmm. let me see. Um, okay, we're running out of time. Okay, so this um, filter will do not let you select options. So um, right click wherever you want and you should select um, some options, the other one. Let me show the other one. The other one. Okay, yeah, click on the pink. Yeah, now, what? Uh, <laughs> it's strange. Yeah, your SolidWorks is collapsing. <laughs> okay, um, click one? wherever in your screen. I think it's this one. Okay. I just tried. No. Okay, okay, try to click again F6 on your keyboard. Oh, I see, I see the option. Uh, click again, right click and open the options. Yeah, filter Canton. I think it's that one. Okay, yeah, it's, it's good. So now you can, you can uh, start editing. It's writing right over here. Oh, okay. Um, and the filter. Huh? Okay, uh, you have an option in your top menu, which is uh, write text. Uh, it, I can't it has see. An 
This one. Yeah, yeah it's second. Yeah, so this pink filter will always make problems when you try to select things and click on things. <laughs> and it activates like randomly. Um, like um, sometimes we just activate it unintentionally, for example, clicking one something in the keyboard or something with your mouse or something like that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So now you can add your name on the person who draw this. This is the first, uh, you have a grid where it says uh, Name. Ah, yeah, exactly, okay. And you also have the options to make it the smallest letters. I normally use six for that okay. because it's like a really small size. Oh, you have to select the text. This is what I tell you, it's not so friendly to write in SolidWorks. <laughs> it's not made for writing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you can click elsewhere and relocate it. Ah, stay there. <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay, click escape or, yeah, okay, good. Okay, so in, in this kind of drawings, we would normally um, write who drew it, who checked it, who approved it, who um, checked it for production or for quality and everything. So, uh, and the dates and everything. So there's a record that someone draw it, recorded it, approved it and everything. And, um, you will also grant some tolerances. I don't know if you are familiarized with tolerances. Mm. Uh, you, do you know what, what a tolerance is? No. Okay. So I like uh, the I, I I think so that I know it's like the change that is possible or okay. Yeah, exactly. This is like the dimensions yeah. that are permitted when you manufacture. So remember yeah. that when we make it in SolidWorks, we can write, okay, so this is 10 millimeters and that's all. It's 10 millimeters, okay? Mm -hmm. But when we manufacture it and we actually measure it, we'll always see that it's not 10 millimeters. It's 10,1, 10, 10, 10,001 or 9,98 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, when we manufacture things and we want to assemble them, we always need to consider tolerances. So it actually works because not if we do not consider them, they will not work. So basically, um, in uh, professional drawings, we always need to annotate which is the tolerance in uh, for which part, and, or sometimes we we need uh, different tolerances in the same part and everything. So this is like a whole new lesson but it's more or less what you need to know right now and you will also grade the material i don't know how to say material in german it's actually material but on this drawing it says werkstoff okay right here. yeah so you can write the material that you want uh, sometimes mm -hmm. i to avoid creating a new text that it's like not friendly to me i prefer just to copy one text and paste it on another <laughs> on another grid and then just change the text. So you can do always do that. You can click, for example, on steel and then copy. Hmm. Oh, it's because of pink. It, yeah. Filter. Mm -hmm. You can copy it and paste it. Yeah, so it's sometimes I just prefer to yeah. do this instead of creating a new text and everything. And remember steel, as you wrote it, it's um, to take somebody else's property. And steel, uh, yeah. as a material, is with double E. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. want to see the part. <laughs> okay. So do you have any questions till now, Ferdinand? I don't think so. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see everything has disappeared. Okay, be careful. Okay, so this is, it has not disappeared, is that you are just editing this part, okay? So okay. when you going to go off, when you want to go out of the editing, you will go to your right, almost where you close your window. And you have, uh, okay, a little bit down. You have a big symbol, but it's like gray. Uh, a little bit down, a little bit down. You have a big symbol, yeah, exactly. That, that symbol that make a color when you popped it. Mm -hmm. uh, this, yeah, exactly, that symbol with the arrow. Okay, so you just click on it and then you go out of the editing the page, okay? okay. And now you have all your changes saved. You can see it, mm -hmm. that you have steel, test, everything but you are now editing the actual drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are almost finished, but right now I just wanted uh, you to save it in PDF. Well, you can... It just looks a bit nicer. I yeah, think. exactly. This is this is what happens with uh, when you're making a drawing, try to make it nicer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. as a PDF? Yeah. Okay, so this is because you uh, return to your model and then maybe make some modifications. Okay, so that's it. Now you have it in PDF. And okay. you can also save it as you, you, it's desirable that you save it also as a SolidWorks drawing. Or to edit later. Like. Yeah, exactly like this one. Yeah, exactly. So you can edit it later or if not, if you just save it in PDF, then you lose everything if you mm -hmm. make any corrections. Okay, so this is it. You are pretty prepared to do professional drawings <laughs> in the <laughs> engineering <you>. level. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have any... Uh, questions? Not so far, thank you. Okay, so your homework, I will, well, I will share my screen now, but your homework is to make um, another part of what you have made before as a drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so you can choose between your different homeworks, maybe, yeah, the some, something, uh-huh that requires more views or something, that would be nice. But mm -hmm. you can uh, you can do it from one of your homeworks. Maybe not the moon buggy, it's quite complex. <laughs> but. Yeah, exactly. So in uh, this kind of assemblies that have a lot of soft parts, then you, you need a lot of pages of your PDF or your drawing to share one page with the assembly, one page with one part, and several pages showing a lot of details. Okay, so we are almost finished. We have less than one minute. I think this is all. And thank you for attending this lesson of SolidWorks um, course. Thank you.